I know it's confusing. All of these terms that we doctors use, low-density lipoprotein, high-density lipoprotein, good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. So I've asked to borrow my son's train set to try and explain in a better way what the problem is and how you can fix it. So here's what I want you to think about. Think about the blood vessel as your train track. It's sitting in there circulating around just like a train track does. And then you have box cars that deliver things in the train track. We call those box cars low density lipoprotein, high density lipoprotein, so LDL, VLDL, all of those parts of the lipid panel, those are all proteins or box cars. And what do they carry? They carry your triglycerides, like this, which are fats, and they carry cholesterols, like this, which is cholesterol. So, what causes the damage to that train track? It really isn't the fat or the cholesterol. They don't cause damage to it. But the boxcar causes damage to it. So, the more fats that you have and cholesterol that you have, all of a sudden this boxcar gets full, you have to build another boxcar. It's the boxcar or those lipoproteins, low density, high density, doesn't matter which, that cause the problem to the track. So think about it this way. All of a sudden you have this boxcar going along, it causes a problem in the track, it dumps out its cholesterol and its fat into that track, causing a little bump on the track. And the more bumps you have on the track, the harder it is for that those things you get transported, blood, oxygen, everything else, and eventually that just occludes that blood vessel. So what can you do? Well, we don't have drugs that can keep you from building more boxcars, but what we do have is drugs that keep you from building more cholesterol. So if you have familial hypercholesterolemia, you need to have a drug that will prevent you from building more cholesterol, because if you build less cholesterol, you don't need as many boxcars. In terms of diet with cholesterol, you can't do that much because very little contribution of cholesterol comes from your diet. Probably 10%, maybe even less. In terms of triglyceride, a lot that you can do with triglyceride. And the reason is, is that triglyceride is something that you can change. Now, if you have familial hypertriglyceridemia, a rare condition, but out there, you're gonna need medication for that. But even still, you can overcome medication. Diet is the one thing that can make triglycerides worse or reduce triglycerides. And that's the thing that we talked about last time. So let's talk about it again. You make fat out of things like this, cookies, highly processed foods made with white flour, white sugar, all those bad things. This causes an increase in your triglyceride. So does alcohol. This causes much less of a problem with triglycerides more fruits, more vegetables, things like that. A little bit of exercise. Alcohol causes an increase of triglyceride, moderate the alcohol content. So by decreasing the number of triglycerides in your bloodstream, you decrease the number of boxcars, LDL, HDL, VLDL that you need. And without, with fewer boxcars, there will be less damage to your vessel or your train track. So I wanna thank my son JJ for letting me borrow his train set and change it from the New York line to the LDL line or VLDL line. Oh, this also explains another interesting finding. Recently, the physicians thought, well, if we increase the good cholesterol, HDL, maybe we'll have less of a problem with heart attacks. Well, they did. They used niacin, and that trial was stopped this last May. And the reason was, yes, you can increase the number of boxcars, but even HDL, the so-called good cholesterol, it's still a boxcar. It still causes damage to that train track, what we call a blood vessel. So that's why that trial was stopped, and they, they're not trying to do that anymore. So remember, you can limit your number of triglycerides, make you make your body stop making as many boxcars, and your vessels will stay a lot healthier a lot longer. Again, thanks to my son JJ for letting me borrow his train set. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Eat healthy. That's your doctor's orders.